Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Rich Hoffman. I'm the CEO of MNR Printing Equipment, and I've been asked to stop by and give you a little bit of uh, information as to what we're doing for the future of screen printing. MNR has taken the, the course of addressing the needs for the screen printers in prepress. A lot of conversation goes on about digital versus screen print and where it's going in the future. In our business, approximately 10% of our market is digital and 90% is screen print. Over the next two to three years, the digital side of our business will grow by an additional 10%. It may grow in ways that you are used to, but in other ways, it will enhance screen printing even more than it will digital. The digital side of our business is prepress. Prepress will allow screen printing to compete in the future with digital setups and digital speeds to get product to market. If you have the opportunity, please visit our booth. It's right next door. And you will see our digital to screen, which allows you to prepare screens extremely fast extremely accurate and allows you uh, to set your presses up approximately twice as fast as you could last year. A typical setup on an automatic press for six to eight colors was 40 minutes last year. This year it's 20 minutes. Next year it will be closer to 10 minutes. Our total goal is to have our digital setup and our screen print setup all be available for the printer's use at approximately a one minute time frame. You will see a lot of that innovation today if you visit the booth next door. Digital helps us to make our screens extremely accurate as well as control the type of art that will allow us to get to market quicker. In Atlantic City, in March of this year, we had a trade show. And for the first time, we had digital prints sitting next to screen prints. And even seasoned veterans, inclusive of myself, were looking at the prints. And you virtually could not tell which one was a digital print and which one was a screen print. Now for the industry that has far reaching arms, currently large companies spend billions of dollars each year traveling the world to look at prints and approving them before they can go to mass production. The flights, the time that people expend to go from country to country to approve printing is astronomical cost. With today's digital and the ability to change the curves of the art, you can make a digital print look like a screen print. And if you can have seasoned veterans that will look at two prints and not know which one is a screen print and which one's a digital print, you're crossing a boundary that has needed to be crossed for years. There are companies here in, in the hall that have prints on display. Uh, virus being one of the ones around the corner. And if you look at the prints on their wall, the prints are very representative of an excellent digital print. Yet, they are screen prints. And they are done on not 20 color presses, 30 color presses, but six color presses. And you could not do this type of printing two years ago you for sure could not compete with digital quality two years ago. But this is all happening because of the crossover between digital and screen print. So m and as a company is going to be focusing over the next couple of years on the digital side of prepress. It will allow us to bridge the gap between the two to take digital to enhance screen printing and to make the printer much more profitable. Uh, how many of you are screen printers? 
and how many are digital? Well, it's just about the same. When you look at the screen print side of the world, it used to be you could use brute force. If you, if you did the wrong screen, if you had the wrong emulsion, if you had the off contact, the answer was add squeegee pressure. Well, you can only do that to a degree and then the print starts to look like something from a third world. With digital, you have to be very precise. You have to have everything exact. But for the benefit of you, you have a computer that's doing everything for you. You can change the curve. You can change the size of the dot, the type of the dot, and you can enhance it via your computer. With screen printing, you needed a knowledge. You needed to be a artist as well as a production person in order to get your products out. Today, screen printing and digital have crossed the boundaries to where the digital side was now allowing you to use your computer to make your screen print look just as good as your digital with just the same amount of ease. The difference between the two, I do not believe in my lifetime, and I'm getting there, but I, I don't believe in my lifetime that digital on textile will replace screen printing. I do believe that digital will enhance screen printing to the point that you will not be able to do your job effectively screen printing without the advancement of digital in screen printing. And that's proven time in and time out. The size of the screens that are being made, the quality of the screens that are being made, are unsurpassed in everything that you've ever expected out of a screen before. Currently we have printers doing uh, printing on textiles, screen print wise, up to 85 line, 95 line in some cases, which is extreme printing on a piece of cotton or a piece of polyester. But it's being done day in and day out now. You look at the designs of screen printing and digital, you are starting to see us as manufacturers, not only my company, but many others, crossing over and blending screen print and digital on the presses. You're going to see more of this. That is your future. That is our future. It is going to, both are going to have to enhance your ability to compete with anyone and everyone worldwide with your knowledge and not your brute force. Our digital sides today that you'll see here uh, in our facility are all manufactured by m &R. Seven years ago, we were not in the digital arena at all. And as I told you, we're 10% of our marketplace. We're not a small company, so 10% in our business is, is a large amount. And 15% this year your digital enhancements of screen printing is going to bring more marketing to you. We're envisioning a one-off screen print product that is uh, categorized by serial numbers. Go into every marketplace out there that you see and if it has a serial number on it, now you can have a collector product. And if you can have a shirt that's a one-off, first one off of a run, you may be seeing shirts that have values in the hundreds of dollars for a $1.25 t-shirt because it's the first of a run or the last of a run, a collector's item. That can't be done by screen printing alone. It can be done by the uh, marriage of digital and screen print. Our screens that we are producing today are bringing, driving down the cost of pre-press. I don't know if you've seen on YouTube, but about six months ago, m and produced a YouTube video of one guy making 400 screens in eight hours. A screen print shop today typically will have five to six people in their screen department and they will produce roughly 80 to 200 screens in a 10 hour period. We actually videoed one gentleman coding screens, imaging screens, renting the screens out, 
to the point they're prepped for taping and one gentleman did this at a very slow walking pace in eight hours in a 12 by 12 uh, room. That room is in our booth. So if you go to our booth after this presentation or anytime during the show, we'll be happy to demonstrate for you the abilities that screen print and digital are bringing to the arena. You no longer have to image a screen and take it off of your imager and take it to a exposure device. Uh, you could not do those as easily as you can today and that's not done uh, any other way other than the digital application that computer to screen has brought to the arena. There are many ways to make screens today. You can do it via laser, you can do it via inkjet, you can do it via wax. So we're using the abilities of digital in the future to enhance the uptime on machines. And we're going to focus uh, very clearly on screen printing's pre-press. Digitally on the screens have taken us to a point now where we used to have 20 to 40 minute setup times. We are currently doing setup times in the 10 minute range. Your screen printing uh, setups on the presses, we are demonstrating them over in the booth where we are currently setting eight to 10 screens up in perfect registration in under two minutes. You can't do that with just the abilities of screen printing of last year, the year before. But today, because of digital, it is allowing us to address the pre-press issues of getting you up and keeping you running quickly. Many, many shops were buying multiple automatics. We have shops with as many as 50, 60 automatics in a shop. And just imagine shops that do 1,800 to 2,000 screens a day. When you're doing those type of screens, that's a whole business by itself, getting ready to print. Those big shops have helped us help the small shops to become more efficient. So we have focused on getting the presses up with pre-registration systems such as the Trilock. Our Trilock system will take your screens and place them into the screens in a proper position for printing to where with generally about a half of a turn of a micro, you are up and running. And the screen printers here, what's your, your screen printer, what's your typical setup time? I, they're all too long. <laughs> Five minutes of screen, so on a 10 color job, you're at 50 minutes. Okay, uh, you're a screen printer, how long does it take you? Five to eight minutes per screen. So imagine if digital handles pre-press and brings you down to a minute to two minutes per screen. Your productivity of your press will basically double. The industry average is five to seven setups per day per press. So if you're doing five to seven setups per day and we can capture half of your setup time, your productivity of your presses, you'll get 40% more productivity without spending one dime on another press. So digital will allow you to do that. You need to see it, you need to encompass it, embrace it, and understand where it's going. It's not going to replace screen printing, it is not going to uh, change your embellishment of a product. It's just going to make it better. Our digital side, uh, currently, we are working on product in, for early 2016 to double our speeds of what we have today. You will see today that we can produce a screen for a uh, cost of approximately three to six cents we can produce a screen digitally where uh, a year ago that would cost you between 85 cents, and I'm using dollars, so you have to excuse me, but 85 cents to $1.25 per screen in film cost. So that film cost is disappearing quickly. And it's going, and the only digital allowed you to do that. Pre-press encompasses getting your screens ready, getting your press ready, 
and then we come to post press. Post press is just as important. The world is fighting labor. Screen printing chases labor throughout the world. And in order for you to be able to compete with countries that have substantially lower labor costs than you, you have to be able to enhance your ability to keep your machines turning because that is the only way you're going to make money. So I invite you to come to our shop, over to the booth, let us show you how to do these things in your shop. Whether it is our product or a competitor's product, the process is the same. Get the pre-press fixed, get it done. And M&R's project is to take the digital, move it into the next arena to eliminate your downtime and get your uptime to the speeds that will justify you staying in this industry and being very profitable. Our, our goal is for you to be able to do that at a cost-effective way. The screen printing uh, abilities to make, I'm sorry, the digital ability to make screens today, the cost has came down by half as of last year. So you will see exposure units that will make your screens. One of the issues that you, you deal with every day is the changing product in your screen time, the bulb in your exposure unit. As it degrades, your exposure times go up. It's a variable inside of your shop that needs to go away. And it needs to go away because anytime you have a variable and you have to make an adjustment, that's costing you time and time is money. So we're eliminating even the exposure lights so that you don't have to change bulbs. Our current exposure unit that we're uh, showing today, we give you a lifetime warranty on the, bulb, on the light source. So you can keep the unit for 20 years your exposure time will never change, your bulb will never fail, and if it ever does fail, you get it replaced for free because it's a lifetime warranty. Current exposures today, you expose today, when you're exposing your screens, you're changing your lamps two to three times a year, you're changing your times on a weekly basis because that variable keeps moving and every time you have to address that, it's costing you time, which is money. So we're eliminating all of those. Everything that we're doing has a digital enhancement to bring to the table to make screen printing even stronger, not replace it. So I ask you to visit, take the time. We have a tremendous amount of people there that will take you through demonstrations and give you the ability to see what is happening live and in your shop, take your experience, compare it to that experience, and do the math. See what it would do for your application. Okay? Does anyone have any questions? None? Okay, well, I'm going to go back to my little cubby hole and I uh, ask you to please visit us Come and take a look at it and see if we can make it uh, better for you in 2015. Okay, thank you.